Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on Cartnock map. It is somewhat critical and difficult example problem on Cartnock map in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. The given problem is Simplify the following Boolean function using k map. So f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 0, 1, 3, 4, 6, 8, 15. So here the given Boolean function is a four variable function because there are four variables are there. To simplify that given Boolean function, you have to use four variable Cartnock map. Okay. The four variable Cartnock map has the following structure. So horizontal side I am taking two variables. Vertical side I am taking two variables. The two variables can have four possibilities. That four possibilities can be written in the form of gray code 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. These two variables can have the four possibilities 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here we have to follow compulsory gray code. Otherwise you are getting the wrong answer. Okay. Here also we have to follow the gray code. Okay. By combining the horizontal side and rows, row side and column side, whatever the number we are getting for that number the equivalent decimal number can be written in the corner of each and every cell that represents the cell number for example 0 0 0 0 so 0 0 0 0 the equivalent decimal number is 0 the 0 can be written here this can be called as cell number in the same way so this one is there 1 1 1 1 so 1 1 1 1 the equivalent decimal number is 15 so the 15 can be written in the corner of this cell it represents the cell number another one 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 the equivalent decimal number is a 6 6 can be written in the corner of this cell so it represents the cell number so here this one 1001 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. the equivalent decimal number is 9 so that can be written in the corner of this cell it represents the cell number in this way we have to fill all the cell numbers in the corner of each and every cell that represents the cell number okay next one so sigma m is nothing but sum of min terms for each and every min term, you have to write the binary, 4-bit binary in this way. So, 0 binary form is 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 binary form is 0, 0, 0, 1. 3 binary form is 0, 0, 1, 1. 4 binary form is 0, 1, 0, 0. 6 binary form is 0, 1, 1, 0. 8 binary form is 1, 0, 0, 0. 15 binary form is 1111. Why for each and every min term you have to convert them into equivalent 4 bit binary number? Because it can the Boolean function can be expressed as four variables. Because of that reason, as for every min term that can be represented in 4 bit binary form. Okay, here four variables are there. Each and every min term can be represented in 4-bit binary form. Now, whatever the min terms are there, for each and every min term, you have to identify the cell corresponding cell number. In that cell number, we have to place 1. Okay. So, first 0 min term, identifying the 0 cell and place 1. Next min term 1 identifying the cell number 1 and place 1 next min term 3 
identifying the cell number 3 and place 1. Min term 4, identifying the cell number 4 and place 1. Min term 6, identifying the cell number 6 and place 1. Min term 8, identifying the cell number 8 and place 1. Min term 15, identifying the cell number 15 and place 1. How many number of min terms are there? 7 min terms are there. 7 ones are there or not, you have to identify them. 3, 5, 7. 7 min terms, 7 ones are already placed in the corner map. Now, how to simplify them? Okay, how to grouping of ones? The first priority given to opt. Opt means adjacency of 8 ones. Here, only 7 ones are there, but they are not adjacent. Hence, there is no possibility of getting opt. Next priority given to quad. Quad means grouping of 4 ones, adjacency of 4 ones. So, here, 4 ones are there, but they are not adjacent. Hence, there is no possibility of getting quad. Next priority given to pair. Pair means adjacency of two ones. Yes, here two ones are there, here two ones are there. They are adjacent. So, so there is a possibility of getting only pairs. If no pair is there, for example, then next priority given to singleton. So, first priority given to opt. If it is not possible, next priority given to quad. If it is not possible, next priority given to pair. If it is not possible, next priority given to singleton. Okay. Now, so here quad is not possible. Opt is not possible. Only pair is possible. Okay. So now first I am taking these two ones are adjacent. So then they can be formed as a pair. Okay. So this is first pair. Next one. Here this one and this one. When we are holding the Carnap map in the middle from bottom to top. So, this one and this one are adjacent. Okay. So, now this one and this one are adjacent when we are folding the Carnap map in the middle from bottom to top. So, these two ones are adjacent. Okay. So, this is the Second pair we are getting. Next, what is the third pair we are getting? Now, this one and this one are adjacent when we are folding the Carnap map from right to left. For this one and this one are adjacent. So now, this one and this one are adjacent. When we are folding the Carnap map from right to left. Only single one is there. There is no adjacent one for this one. So then this can be formed as single term. This is fourth one. Okay. Now how to write the Boolean expression for each and every pair. Okay. First, I am taking the first one. So, A, B, C, B. Okay. For this pair, for this one, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. For this one, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, observe column A, it contains only zeros. So that we have to consider this column 
In that column, A value 0 means A bar. Next, observe B column. It contains only zeros. So that we have to consider that column. In that column, B value 0 means B bar. Observe C column. It contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. Observe D column. D column contains only ones. So that we have to consider that column. In that column, B value 1 means we have to write D. So, after simplifying this pair, we are getting so A bar, B bar, D. Okay, next. For second pair, what is the expression we are getting? Okay, here I am writing A, B, C, D. Okay, second pair is this one and this one. For this one, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. For this one, 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0. First, observe the A column. It contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. Observe the B column. B column contains only zeros. We have to consider that column. In that column, B value 0 means B bar. Observe the C column. C column contains only zeros. We have to consider that column. In that column, C value 0 means C bar. Observe the D column. D column contains only zeros. We have to consider that column. In that column, B value 0 means so D bar. So what is the expression we are getting? B bar, C bar, D bar. Okay, next one. For the third pair, we have to write the expression. So, A, B, C, D. Now, this one and this one. For this one, 0, 1, 0, 0. For this one, 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, observe A column. It contains a combination of zeros and uh, observe A column. It contains only zeros. We have to consider that column. In that column, A value 0 means A bar. Observe B column. B column contains only ones. We have to consider that column. In that column, B value 1 means you have to write B. Observe C column. It contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. Observe D column. It contains only zeros. We have to consider that column. In that column, D value 0 means B bar. Next. Fourth one. Only single ten. So, single ten is 15. So, A, B, C, D. So 15 means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So A value 1 means you have to write A. B value 1 means you have to write B. C value 1 means you have to write C. D value 1 means you have to write D. Okay. So after simplifying, after grouping of ones in that Carnot map, what is the simplified expression? The simplified expression f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to first one a bar b bar d a bar b bar d plus second one b bar c bar d bar third one a bar b d bar fourth one a, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. So, this is the simplified expression we are getting by using the Carnot map. Okay. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. This problem can be solved in another way also. So, I am I am considering only one technique. Okay. 
I hope um, if you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, The Bella Sri Vasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel for better understanding of entire digital electronics course for our BLD course or our STLD course. Go to this channel and go to the playlist called DLD or our STLD or our digital electronics course. It contains approximately more than 300 videos. Follow that videos and understanding the entire course and getting good marks. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.